Hey everyone, it's me Calvin. I'm in Copenhagen for a few days and um, something come, came up that I really wanted to share with you. It's something that I see a lot with spiritual types, with healers, with sensitive people, with people with, with a big heart, is that you care so much that you really want to help other people. Um, say you have someone in your social circle that is struggling, that is in pains of some sort, maybe they're going through something, a divorce, or maybe they're, they have problems with eating or with debt or drinking or like addictions of some sort or whatever it is, and you feel compelled to go in and help this person because it makes you feel horrible to see them suffering. Well, the th first thing that you need to do is to take care of the part of you that's feeling horrible about it. If you're coming to someone else from a place of attachment, from a place of you being in pain, and you want to help this other person so that your pain goes away, that's really you know manipulation. That's really you know, a conceited um, um, effort to make yourself feel better by doing something in the outside world, and you are you're not doing this other person a service. You're being you're being selfish and, and being selfish okay is okay but but being um secretly um selfish is not is not a good thing it's better to just be outright selfish and be like look i feel horrible it makes me feel horrible to see this and i'm not going to change it i'm just going to be with with how i'm feeling horrible the way this really hit home for me um some years ago was when i went through my divorce and i was talking to my guru at the time or my teacher let's say um, his name is Bodhi, and and I was talking to him about like how uh, it was easy for me to cope with my pain over the divorce, but what was really troubling for me was to see my ex-wife and know that she was in pain and that I wasn't able to do anything about it because I, I wasn't having any contact. And Bodhi just quietly said, well, that is your pain. That is your pain. You know, that pain that you're feeling over your thinking about her pain is your pain and that's the pain that you need to address right and that's it's so important because if if we're coming to someone else because we're in pain over them then the, we're not being a clean instrument then we're we're just going to make things worse we're just going to make things worse so we need to be be you know um to take care of that part first and it's probably, you know, indicating that there's some deep wounded part of you that you actually need to heal here. And then once you've taken that piece home and healed, you can meet the other person with love, with non-judgment, and just be of service. And if life wants you to serve this person in some way, you can be responsive to that. And if life doesn't want that, that's fine too. Just know that everything is exactly as it should be and it's not your job to play God and, and fix anything because things aren't broken. It's, you know, it's totally fine to be of service and to do good things for other people. And, but it has to come from a place of freedom within yourself. It can't come from a place of you feeling so upset about how things are. And that goes for bigger things too. I see a lot of people who are desperate to want to kind of heal the world or spread uh, meditation or yoga or something because like, oh, my heart is overflowing and the world is suffering and all these things. It's really important that you come from a place of bliss and not from a pain of, I'm in pain because of all of this and I need to do something out here to make this pain in here to go away. All right, cool. I think I've made my point. Have a fantastic day. See you soon. Bye-bye.